What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another Bama Saltwater episode. Yes, I have the beach cart. And we're gonna go out on the beach and try to do some fishing. I got a variety bait, I have some fish gum, I have some frozen shrimp, and then I also brought the ghost shrimp pump, which I will show you if the opportunity is there to get them, I will show you what that is, and we'll get to fishing. So that's enough talk. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. If you have, I appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that bell for more notifications. Let's get to fishing. get my sand spikes in the sand pretty good looking spot with the sandbar right here and then a deeper area the water is not perfectly clear but we'll make do Two ounce will do. All right, I got some fish gum with me. If you have not checked it out, I highly suggest it. Go to fishgum.com and go get you some. It's pretty much just a synthetic cut bait. Uh, you don't have to keep it on ice. You don't have to keep it alive, obviously. It's just like bubble gum. You cut a piece off, put it on your hook, and it slowly dissolves. It's got a whole lot of different flavors. They all have clam, sand fleece, shrimp, crab, and it says a little bit of more in there. And it's got a powder on there that quickly dissolves as soon as you hit, drop it in the water. And then the rest of the bait will slowly dissolve and release the scent out. If you watch any of my other videos, you see I do pretty good. I think I'm gonna use this uh, Emerald Coast Killer today. So. and I'll show you. And I'm gonna put a piece of fish gum and a piece of shrimp on my hook. And all I'm using is a double drop, which means it's two hooks, pumping a rig. I tied this myself with the number two owner inshore circle hook. Just thread your shrimp and thread your fish gum on there. Alrighty. I'm gonna be throwing this on the nine foot Ninja Tackle surf fishing rod, the dagger, and then a saltwater 5000 Shimano Saragosa, 20 pounds super slick eight power pro. I'm just gonna lob it out there and see what we can find. There is a shallow sandbar right here. I wanna get it past that sandbar into that little bit deeper water. And here we go. Woo, that reel cast smooth. So, I'm gonna bring it over, set it in my rod holder, loosen my drag up a little bit, and that one's set. I'm just going to run this one rod right now with that shrimp and fish gum on there. I am gonna go try to find some ghost shrimp if I can. If I can't find any, oh well. That's why you always bring extra bait out. So, but I do have this new ghost shrimp pump I've been wanting to try out and uh, see if we can get some. Ooh, this water is cold, man. <laughs> Ah, it is cold. Okay, it's making my feet go numb. You would not want to fall in this, but there's a ghost shrimp hole. So it literally looks like, it's it's gonna be hard to show on camera, but it literally looks like a little bitty anthill. And all you do is take this pump, give a couple pumps is what I normally do, and then look for it, see if you can find it. If there's not one in there, you won't find it. So 
All right, that one did not have one in it. Let's go to the next, go to the next hole. Uh, they're real easy to see. They're orange and white, so really easy. Uh. Uh, nothing. Oh, there's one. Uh, come here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There is a ghost shrimp right there. Ha <laughs> ha, found one. <laughs> okay, this is a ghost shrimp. It's pretty lethargic right now because it's freaking cold. But they're freaky looking bait. I mean, weird looking, but they're orange and white. And a lot of times you'll find them with egg sacs underneath that looks orange. Same thing with the sand flea, but that's the ghost shrimp. So we're gonna keep him. They do have a big claw on them to dig. And we're gonna keep this one and see if we can find more. Pretty cool. This thing works awesome though. This little stainless steel freaking ghost shrimp pump is awesome compared to the PVC ones if you do it a lot. Man, that's cool. All right. All right, let's see if I can find another one. Let's see, usually you find the holes, they live in colonies, and usually you find one hole, you find a bunch. So let me get back where I was. Oh, there we go, here's a bunch. Whew. A good pair of polarized sunglasses helps a lot when it comes to uh, doing this. All right. There, nothing. Let's go to this one. Stick it right on top of the hole. <sighs> All right. There we go, there's one. Uh, ah. Woo! There we go, so let me get this one put away from <laughs> Okay. All right, there's another one. They're freaking lethargic right now because it's so cold, but that's freaking ghost shrimp. Weird looking things. Go get another one. Here. Oh, there's one. Oh, come here. I swim. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> that's another one. Whew. All right, that's the third one I found. Let's see if we can find another one. Usually about three pumps. Oh, there's one. Ah. Ooh, right before the wave got me. All right, there's two. Ugh, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> They're like, what? what the heck is going on? I'm just sitting in my hole and it's so about it open water. Look, trust me, I don't know what's going on either, okay? I don't know why I'm in this cold water doing this, but hey, whatever. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Right. Let me go put these two in the bucket and I'll be back. Here we go. This is a good one here. Yeah. Good looking uh, hole, nothing in it. Oh yeah, there is one. I lost track of it. Okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? <laughs> there it is. Ah, oh, I got it. Okay, <laughs> there's another one. Sweet. On here, you gotta move quick with these. Oh, there's one. Ah, got another one. Oh, that one's kind of alive. He's moving around. Oh, don't get me. They kind of hurt. But there's one, they use that to dig. <laughs> that little claw. That's, that's two out of there. Let's go put these in the bucket. All right, I'll be back. This BP-75 freaking ghost shrimp pump is awesome. Works great. Pretty effortless trying to get them. Oh, they're, they're awake now and alive. Freaky looking things. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna rig this up with a Carolina rig on my smaller rod with a one ounce no roll sinker. And then one of these owner number four ghost leader rigs. These things are awesome. If you don't like tying a whole bunch of stuff or keeping up with a bunch of stuff, you just open the pack, have the swivel, pull straight out. And it's already pre-tied for you with fluorocarbon and number four circle hook and your swivel already. Then all you gotta do is tie straight to that swivel. So, I ended up finding a lot. It's just a few minutes worth of pumping. So, 
I'm gonna grab one. And what I like to do is split it up into three pieces with a small hook. There's the tail section that I like to use, the middle section, and then the head. So there's three separate pieces from one baked. And right now I think I'm gonna go put on the middle section. This is a juicy section here. And that's ready to go. We'll see how well it stays on. If it doesn't stay on very well, I'll switch to some magic thread uh, to keep it on. It's just some sort of elastic string. But uh, I'm gonna cast this out. All right, my light rod, I'm using a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus 4000 on a St. Croix Avid Inshore seven and a half foot medium fast rod, 20 pound power pro braid. All right, let's get it out there and see what we can find. There we go. All right, let's go set in the rod holder, loosen the drag up and see if we can get something. All right, both rods are set, one with fish gum, and I got another one with some ghost shrimp and uh, see what we can do. Man, find the drag. I've got something really big on. There you go. It's freaking pulling. Could be a black drum, could be a red fish, could be a stingray. Feels like a big old black drum. Man. Ah. Well, whatever it was came freaking off. So, so I cast back out there and see if we can hook in another one. That happens. All right, let's get back out there and see if we can get up. Now I caught that fish way out there, so I got to get on the sandbar. <laughs> okay, it's freaking tall. Okay, walk back this way. Oh, a lot of, a lot of ghost shrimp holes here. There we go. Cast that out. Pretty far. I'm gonna walk back. Go set in the rod holder and reset it. Woo. All right, that's set. Now it's a waiting game again. All right, I'm calling it. Uh, missed that and a really big freaking fish. Man, this thing is like effortless reeling in with this reel though. I like it. All right. All right, this is a walk of shame. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, stuff like that happens. You just gotta, you know, have your little emotional whatever and then get over it and cast back out and see if you can get another one or just try again some other time. But I'm gonna head out. I appreciate you watching. I wanna thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later. All right, well, I didn't catch much. So I'm gonna stop by one of my favorite stops and uh, give me a hoodie real quick. <laughs>